going Slay Nation, it is me Next Gen Slayer, and I'm going to teach you how to make a Call of Duty loading screen that looks similar to the MW3 slash MW2 loading screen. Now this can work with a lot of different videos if you want to make a Call of Duty real life video, a paintball video as I like to make, any type of video like that, um, you can add this effect in and it would look really cool. What you'll need is basically um, a gray bar. Um, and a white bar and that's 1280 by 45 for both of these you also need a um, background that's 1280 by 720 and that can be any background whatever you want it to be um, as you can see this is my paintball loading background and you can change this out pretty easily for any template you'll also need a video editing software that is able to handle keyframes now I'm using PowerDirector 12 that's by Cyberlink um, and this is a good one you can also use Sony Vegas there's another way you can make this type of Call of Duty loading screen in Sony Vegas but I do not have Sony Vegas so I cannot go over that way there's other tutorials on how to do it but this is pretty easy simple way if you do not have an editing software with keyframes such as iMovie which I believe does not have keyframes I cannot remember since it's been about a year since I've used that um, it, they may have added keyframes I'm not sure but if you have a software that does not have keyframes then you'll have to find a green screen with a loading bar and there's probably some YouTube video out there that's able to do that and that would be a much easier way but this is how we're gonna do it and I'm gonna get to it on how to make it so this is what the final product should look like as you can see you have your game mode at the top along with the type of the name of the map you have your intel along with your little tip and then the setting up game and of course the loading bar so that's what it should look like something like that now what we're gonna do is go and make our own there we go now I already have the background that you need and I'm gonna pop that down in the timeline like this and I'm gonna make my loading screen about 10 seconds long you can also add sound effects to the loading screen if you feel like, like this one I have up here. Um, but anyways, once you have that done, you're going to add your bar. And you're going to have the gray bar right here. Make that the same length as your picture, your background. Bring it down. It should fit the whole screen, but you want to shrink it so it's not touching the edges. Like that make it about that size about that low um, let's just double check see if that's about the right height I'm gonna raise it up slightly like that doesn't really matter since this is only a tutorial and now I'm gonna bring the white bar right beneath that and I'll teach you what keyframes is and how to use it basically what keyframes is um, well first of all we're gonna make this resize this bring it down to the gray bar like so make it the same size and that should be good there we go so you want to make it the same size as your gray bar and now you're going to go to the white bar and double click it so you're basically in your modify tab if you're using PowerDirector 12 and you're going to go to maintain aspect ratio untick it so there's nothing ticked there and you're going to go to the beginning of your um, thing and now this is where keyframes comes in so you're gonna shrink it all the way down as small as it goes like that and now you're gonna hit your keyframes now basically what a keyframe is is it allows you to move an object on screen so that it can stay with like if you have a face and you want to blur it out but your camera's moving then you're able to move the blurred out face along with the camera so that it stays blurred out um, that's just a basic description if you want more in-depth go to Wikipedia and search what that means now You're gonna go to your final keyframe um, You can add more keyframes, but really you only need two for the most basic and you're gonna stretch it all, all the way over here and Hit save Now that creates your loading bar um, Go back to the beginning area it should look something like that and as you can see your bar is now loading so what you're also gonna need for this video is text editing thing um, you need a font that you can download from the internet I have a link to it in the description below um, go to the website and go all the way down and download the font don't know how to do that um, I'll have a video up of how to install um, and download fonts um, 
So first off, we're going to use the pop-up effect for Cyberlink. You can use other effects, doesn't matter, I just like to use this one. And you're going to go here, hit and drag it so you highlight the text to change it to the game mode. So we're going to say Team Deathmatch. Now we're going to change the color and get rid of the transparency so it's completely blacked out or whatever. We're going to make it white font and we're going to use the font Bank Gothic MD BT, which like I said, you'll have to download um, with the way I said. We're going to make this 28 size, add it to the top right, or um, excuse me, the top left of the screen somewhere like this and you're gonna add a border to it it's gonna be a black border and we're gonna make the border size four or five you can also use three but um, we're just gonna use five for the tutorial um, change it to what you'd like hit save like that now you're gonna use another pop-up you can also add it all into one text layer you'll just have to add a new title with Cyberlink Power Director 12 some softwares you have to make a new title for each layer so that's what we're gonna be doing now you're gonna name the map we're gonna call this one castle since it looks like a castle now we're gonna do the same thing it's gonna be slightly smaller this time we're gonna change the font change the color and make it so it's not transparent we're gonna make this size 18 um, since it is smaller for the map size when you're doing um, Call of Duty. Anyways, now we're gonna add another border. It's gonna be five again. Um, you can change it to four if you'd like it a little smaller. But we're gonna keep it at five because it stays um, proportional, I believe. Now, you can either be done here since you got what you wanted or you can make it a little bit more fancy and make it a little more like Call of Duty and how you're gonna do that is by going to um, adding more text basically and if you're finished you're satisfied with what you have you can stop the video now or you can continue watching and see what I do basically we're gonna add Intel that is in one of the basic Call of Duty games um, loading screens that you've seen a lot of the times if you played the earlier Call of Duties. Make it just above here. Try to line it up pretty well. Um, we're gonna change. Whoops. Um, that's not what we wanted. Control Z. Um, so we're gonna do the same exact thing. Make it white. Change the font. Change the size. Keep it at 24 if you'd like. 24 is a pretty good size actually for this. Um, and then add a black border. Um, we're gonna make this border size, let's see, we're gonna keep this border size at 3. You can change it to 5 if you'd like. Actually, let's change it to 4. Meet in the middle. There we go. Now, you can also do a little bit more if you want even to make it a little more authentic. If you've checked out some of the MW3 loading screens, um, they have your little advice tips down here and then they have setting up game so if you'd like to do that I'm gonna change the effect to fade right here like I said you can make this all into one text layer using PowerDirector 12 um, however some editing softwares you cannot hit delete I'm gonna use this one and let's just check to make sure this is fade yes see it is for the motion now we're gonna change that to um, a tip only shoot to kill now you can change the tip to whatever you want um, your font size is going to be much smaller as you're gonna see we're gonna use psycho UI so we didn't have to actually change that much with uh, by choosing the fade effect and we're gonna make this size 8 make sure the um, area in between the size is very small minimal there we go line it up and you're gonna add another border make sure it's black again change the color to black keep the size at three only shoot to kill now you're gonna want to change the effect and make sure it starts at the beginning um, 
So each time for each text layer. There we go. So something like that. Hit save. Now, you can be done once again here. Basically, you have everything you really need. Um, you've been done since you got the Team Deathmatch castle and the bar done, the loading screen bar, but we're gonna make it a little bit more authentic, which I like, and we're gonna finally add a sound, um, sound bar at the end. Here we go. So we're gonna delete the small one, hit delete, stretch this out so it starts at the beginning, and once again, we're going to keep the same font we used last time. Um, we're going to change this to setting up game dot 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 triple dot. Ooh, something just happened on my screen. Sorry about that. Um, here we go. Make it seco UI again. Change the distance between the letters and change this to 8 to and color to white border um, right down here make sure it's black keep it at three again and just put this down at the bottom around here this area now we're going to change the start and end of the effect change the timing make it about two seconds for each effect one second whatever you prefer um, doesn't really matter uh, for this tutorial, we're going to keep it a little bit like that. It doesn't really matter. And now you're pretty much done. You can add a transition to each one, make it fade out to black, or you can add sound and just split the sound, delete, make it the same length so your video doesn't go longer. So this is what your final product should look like, something like this. Plays the music in the background change the sound so whatever you want you just have to download that and basically everything you need uh, is in the description down below for the download links if you want the bars to be the same size like I said you can use um, I'm not sure if I said this before but you can use a program called GIMP um, it's basically like Photoshop but it's for free you can also use paint.com and you just want to make a bar size that's 1280 by 7, by 45 um, for the height 1280 by 45 make one white one make one gray and then add it in you can probably find something offline or online I mean and this is what you got so hopefully this helped you now what you want to do is basically um, export this file uh, cyberlink you have to go to produce and produce it to whatever you want name it um, so hopefully this helped you I hope it did, and if it did help you, please leave a like, favorite, subscribe, share it with all your friends, I don't care. Uh, and thank you guys for watching, and if you don't, if you have any questions or need any help, want more tutorials, just leave a uh, tip down below for what the next tutorial should be. Thanks guys, bye. Enjoy my videos and want to support my channel even more? Consider supporting me through the use of Patreon, allowing you access to cool rewards.